G'day viewers and welcome to the fish room build episode one. GV Aquariums Australia. Now before we get into the build, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to my good mate Jeff from Pelham's Aquatics, who's a little bit under weather at the moment. So, get well soon Jeff. Now regular viewers of the channel may have noticed that I haven't posted a video for a while, and that's because I've been busier than a one-legged man in a butt kicking contest. Because not only have I been fixing up the fish room, I've also been accumulating a few aquariums, hunting up a bit of hardscape, propagating some plants, and breeding some beautiful babies, ready to fill out the fish room once it's finished. So if you want to know what happens when a middle-aged truck driver tries to build a fish room, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of the action and you will get to find out if this project is a success or just ends up a great big wet mess. So let's get into the build. This room belonged to my beautiful baby girl Lucy until she moved up to a bigger room, which means I get this one. Now it's not the biggest room in the house. It's only, oh, it's a fraction under three meters or 10 feet wide. And it's about four meters or 12 feet long. So I'm gonna have to really think long and hard about how I get all the tanks in that I want to get in there. So first things first, move all the furniture out, rip up the carpet, and I decided to pull out this built-in row, but would have been handy for storage, but it just made the room far too small, and I won't be able to fit any big tanks in, and we can't have that. And to access this room, I have to go up a little hallway, and it's a bit of a tight squeeze. So I think we got Buckley's chance of getting any decent sized tanks in here. So I thought, well, that window has to go. So here's the window out. And I decided to put a 900 mil wide doorway in so I can fit some big tanks in there. And also put a little window up the top so we can still let a bit of light in and let some stale air out. And so this is what we started with on the outside. That big window, which isn't really ideal for a fish room. And now we have a nice wide doorway with that little window up the top. Beautiful. And from the inside, here was the window before. And here's what it looks like after. There's that nice wide door with a little window up the top. And now we've come to the layout, which is going to take a bit of thought. And thinking isn't really my strong suit. So I had a bit of a measure up and I couldn't really envisage where everything was going to go. So I had a bit of an idea. So I thought instead of dragging in the big heavy steel rack that I've got for my smaller tanks, I had plenty of scrap timber laying around so I made up this nice light easy one which is the same size and I can move it around and envisage where it's going to go. And I made another one which is roughly the same size as my 300 gallon tank. This just makes it a lot easier to move around and I can see how everything's going to fit and hopefully what it's going to look like. Having these timber frames makes it really easy to move everything around so I can try out all different sorts of options so I can get a really good feel of what this fish room is going to feel like once all the tanks are in. And for the moment this is the layout that I've settled on. It leaves enough room to fit a nice four foot tank in the end there. And also leaves me a lot of room in this area here so I can put a few smaller grow out tanks although I haven't really decided yet. And because this room isn't just about keeping fish, it's also somewhere for me to come and hide from the kids. I mean somewhere for me to come and relax. I thought I'd better put the chair in and have a good look around so I can get a really good feel for it. But it's a really bit hard to imagine without having any fish in there. So I had another idea. And so for a small fee, I've contracted my graphic design department to whip up a few fish for me. And so there's Derp, our favourite chocolate cichlid. We'll put him right in the middle. And now that looks a lot more like a tank than what it did before. 
and now I can sit down with a cup of tea and get a really good feel for how this room is going to look once it's finished. So coming up in future episodes viewers, I have this 300 gallon tank that I got second hand and it's going to need a bit of love because I think it's got more silicon than Pamela Anderson. And I also have to decide what I'm going to do with this weir setup. I don't really like it and I think there's probably a better way to do it. And I've also going to have to try and salvage this sump. So look out for that one. Well viewers, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Please remember to like and subscribe and check out one of these videos.